a couple years ago, I, I, a, a translation of the Tao Te Ching that I had made was published. And uh, there are three sections in the center of it, well, not the center, near the beginning of it, this, what's traditionally called, what's traditionally the 17th, 18th, and 19th sections, which is known as the heart of the Tao, or it's kind of a Tao light. It contains the, the, the pithy essence of whatever the Tao Te Ching is about. And I, I thought that this, this text, this, this statement was, was really something that I'd almost heard Jonathan say. I mean, a lot of it certainly applied to him. Uh, so that, I think I'd like to open this uh, bit of afternoon with that. <clears throat> the best direction is barely felt. The next best is like a friend. Fear follows after that. Dismiss the last is useless. A lack of trust makes things untrustworthy. Quiet, in a few words, finish what was begun. So that people say, it simply happened on its own. When the great Tao is disabled, you need goodness and understanding. When wit and know-how are sold off, imitation is a necessity. When trust in the family gives way, loving relations are called for. When disorder and confusion takes over, the devoted official appears. Get rid of the spiritual and let go of wisdom. This will improve things a hundred times over. Get rid of good deeds. Let go of one's duty. This will bring back needing and caring. Get rid of well-laid plans and let go of advantage. Then there will be no crooks and no robbery. These three pieces of advice in themselves are not enough. So add to the above the following. Admire what is plain and hold on to what hasn't happened yet. Think less of yourself and whatever it is you want. Mm -hmm.